What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make these awesome epoxy and wood phone cases. Let's go ahead and get started with the project. So I've started this project out like a lot of my epoxy board projects. Now the difference with this one is I basically just built my form like I've done in a lot of other videos and I just piled in a ton of cherry burl. So I wasn't too particular about where I put everything, just kind of threw it all in there and then when I liked it I glued it all down. Even though we've got a lot of straight lines and cuts in there, it's going to be fine because we're going to be cutting this up into a ton of little pieces. So now that everything's in there, let's go ahead and mix up some epoxy and pour it in the board. As usual, I'm using Total Boat's Thick Set Epoxy, and that's perfect for a project like this. It's super thin like water, so air bubbles don't get trapped in it, and you end up with a perfect pour. I make sure to pour really slowly so that any air bubbles that are trapped in the epoxy have time to escape. Okay, so while our epoxy is drawing, I want to show you how we're going to be making these cases. So obviously we're not making the entire case out of wood. That would just be unreasonable and extremely time consuming. So these are called sublimation cases and they're made by a company called Justry. So basically what they have is an indented portion in the back with adhesive where you can basically cut out a picture or something and place it in the back. They also come with a metal template that you can use to cut out your picture, but we're going to use that to help cut out our wood. We're basically going to cut down that epoxy board into some thin slabs that we can then cut out to the shape that we need to fit in the back of the phone case. So straight out of the mold, this thing is looking pretty rough. We're going to head over to the planer, flatten this, make it nice and smooth. Then we're going to rip it down the middle so we can resaw it on the bandsaw. So you can see now that I've got the bandsaw set up to resaw these into three pieces. Okay, so here comes the scary part. We need to plane all these pieces down that we just resawed on the bandsaw to an eighth of an inch thick. So be very careful when you do this. Make sure you have very sharp planer knives and take very shallow passes because this planer will chew this stuff up for breakfast and spit it out the back. Okay, so after milling, we've got all these cool little pieces that are about an eighth of an inch thick and they're the perfect size for the phone cases. So I've actually got five of them here. I used to have six, but one of them broke off in the planer. So what we need to do is somehow make a wooden template out of plywood or something so that we can cut out all these phone cases exactly the same. So every one of these uh, cases, these Justry cases, comes with one of these metal templates and we're gonna use this to make a wooden template so we can flush trim it. I've just got a piece of quarter inch plywood here and I'm using a nice pen to trace out the template. I used the bandsaw to cut out the template roughly, and now I'm using sandpaper and hand tools to refine the template down to the line. So after a couple minutes of work, you can see that I've got two really nice templates that I can attach to my wood, like so. Then I can use the router and a flush trim bit to cut out all of my phone cases perfectly the same.
Okay, so you can see that we've got our cases sanded up to 220 grit. They look really nice. And they also fit into our sublimation cases here very nicely. So now what we need to do is finish these things. I was originally gonna use some sort of a clear coat, but the guy that inspired me to make these actually used a product called walrus oil. So we're gonna use this stuff. He said it stays on a long time and people get new phones every couple years anyway. So this stuff is really easy to apply and uh, we're gonna use that to finish all of our cases. And we only wanna get the edges and the top side here. We don't wanna get the back because we need that adhesive to stick. We're gonna apply this coat here and then we're gonna let this sit for half an hour or an hour. Okay, so these cases come with a sticky adhesive back on there. I don't think that's gonna be enough, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wipe on a thin layer of five minute epoxy onto the back of these things. And I'm gonna glue these things down really good because I do not want these things coming off. The adhesive is a little bit sketchy. It's meant for pictures and things like that. So not too heavy duty, but um, I think the epoxy is gonna be a lot better for these. I'm putting it on very, very thin. I don't wanna get any runs or drips or anything like that. So uh, just a nice little thin layer of five minute epoxy. Really anything will work. And we just wanna make sure we coat everything so it looks even from the other side. All right. Now that that is covered, slide the case over here, flip it upside down. And pop it into place. You might need to put some weight on that just to make sure it, it gets stuck down really nice and good. And we'll go back and we'll wipe all the dust off of it because it looks kind of crappy now. <laughs> but I think it's gonna work out really good. Guys, I had so much fun making this week's project. These phone cases are just so awesome because it looks like some sort of ocean watershed or some sort of river flowing through a mountain range. I don't really know, but the cherry burl and epoxy just looks awesome. This is a great project because a lot of people can't afford epoxy tables or epoxy boards, so people can buy a $39 epoxy phone case and uh, have a really cool epoxy project that they can carry around with them every day. Like I said, these cases do come with an adhesive on the back. You can stick the epoxy piece in. Um, I didn't find it to be that strong, so that's why I went ahead and used five minute epoxy to glue these things in. It's just a lot safer of an option. I'm gonna recommend the brand Justry, J-U-S-T-R-Y. I really like these cases better than the uh, other ones that I had. These ones are more of a rubbery material, so I think they're gonna absorb the impact of a drop a lot better, and they just seem like a lot higher quality. So I'm gonna leave a link down in the description box below if you wanna get these cases. If you're not already following me on Instagram, make sure you go ahead and follow me over on Instagram, Seth's Custom Creations. I post a lot of behind the scenes stuff and stuff that doesn't get put up on the YouTube channel. Also, be sure to check out my website. I'll have these phone cases on my website for sale. Uh, currently, I only have phone cases for the iPhone 11, the iPhone 7, iPhone 8, and iPhone SE. So if you've got one of those phones, you want a phone case, definitely go and check out my website. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. I really appreciate it, guys. Um, all the support is just fantastic. I love doing this YouTube channel, and I can't wait to make more videos. I'll see you guys next week.